It was himself. invitation only for the president's speech. Well, hello, Joliet. And, uh... Before a crowd of about 200 at Jones Elementary School, he argued his case that Democrats have delivered protected Social Security. If we didn't have Social Security, the poverty rate for those over 65 would be four times what it is now. Four times. I love those signs when I came in. Socialism. Just give me a break. What idiots. The president touted legislation that lowered prescription drug prices. We finally beat Big Pharma. Finally, finally, finally. No senior and starting January 1 will have to pay more than $2,000 a year for all their drugs. With many races tightening, top Democrats are crisscrossing the country on this final weekend of the campaign. President Biden arrived Friday night to help suburban incumbents at risk. In the 6th congressional district, Sean Caston is trying to fend off Orland Park Mayor Keith Peacock. The Congressional Leadership Fund, which supports Republicans, spent nearly $2 million on ads to help him in recent days. We are in a fight for our lives. The president shined a light on Lauren Underwood, who represents the 14th Congressional District. She and Bill Foster of the 11th Congressional District are fighting to hang on to their seats. Republican momentum is growing. The GOP needs to flip five seats to turn the House red. It needs to gain one seat to seize the Senate. Biden told supporters to keep the faith, to step up and show up Tuesday. All of you, all of you are the reason I've never been more optimistic about the future of America. Just have to remember who in God's name we are. We are the United States of America. There's nothing within our power that's beyond our power. Vice President Kamala Harris will come to town Sunday to rally with fellow Democrats. In Joliet, Judy Wang, WGN News.